March is titled, I have to say the title. <laughs> the title of your topic is the Integration of Reproductive Health and HIV Related Services, Perceptions of Antenatal Plans Attending Rural Clinics in North Central Nigeria. So, welcome. Thank you very much and um, good afternoon. Um, I think we have a nice chair. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just try it because of time. Okay. So good afternoon once again. Uh, I'm sharing some work that we did in Nigeria, North Central, uh, Management Science for Health. It's funded by Pat Thank you. It's funded by that for you say, and we have projects um, the prevention of national systems AIDS care and treatment project, uh, which actually began in late 2007, uh, so far as actually follow And with the goal to really build the capacity of public sector in India for sustainability charity restaurants. And currently we are supporting 74 facilities, primary, secondary, tertiary levels across six Nigerian states. And we will work mostly with northern Nigeria. Um, the key component of our project is the delivery of PLTCT services and um, since it's actually a proactive project, we've been able to provide over 5,000 and at that time it's uh, cancer and testing um, across the eight PLTCT sites. And we continue to work to expand cancer and testing services as well as the increased uptake of antenatal care and facility based service delivery. A key component of all we increasingly are driving towards is to integrate care to city into the broader maternal and child health services and the facilities that we support. So basically, um, some background to the study, um, we all know this, this is not um, new knowledge, but we felt that um, 16 months after implementation of our program, we need to observe more analyzed program level data that patients who are enrolled in care, women of productive age who were enrolled in care, and had strong desires for pregnancy and some of them actually getting pregnant. And we were wondering if the extent of counseling services that we provided you know, where the gaps are, because as part of counseling, we're supposed to provide information about you know, several set of practices, something in the beginning. We also observed when we did an analysis of our program that um, we had positive and central clients who were with the program but we needed to drop off. And we realized that because of several care points these women had to access in the program, they were unable to really uh, navigate through the system. So we purposely selected three hospitals and um, two secondary healthcare facilities and one primary healthcare centre um, to conduct this study. And it was basically a based on assessment which uh, looked at integration and service delivery and policy level. And one of the key components of this was to you know, assess the preferences of antenatal clients in the, in the um, and to access um, services in the same facility and in the same location. So when we said we're similar to 72 um, antenatal clients, more than half of this were new age and positive who are already enrolled in our program. And um, as you see, the sample size is actually very small, but this was really something that we wanted to do quickly um, to really give us insight into some of the issues around um, accessing services, family planning, or other services in those facilities. Um, the mean age was 32, and the mean parity was 4, and the initial area of the person was by one age and positive. So, some of the results that we were able to obtain that um, a majority of the clients would really prefer to access family planning and HIV services in the same kind of location and by the same provider. Many of them believing that integration would provide them a number of, would reduce the number of trips that are made to those facilities. And we know that in rural communities that issues around access, transportation, and uh, most importantly, this also affects retention of clients in those um, facilities. A few, however, expressed concerns around you know, issues that we need associated with integration, such as stigma, less confidentiality, and some of them also um, share with us that we need to 
have to, to stop this from the child. So in Kampu, we believe that you know, efforts really, again, this is not really, but we believe that in Europe, the efforts to implement integrated medicine services should be optimized. And um, we heard so much about the big phenomenon yesterday, and I always wanted to highlight this in you know, closing that we want to support towards strengthening broader aspects of healthcare education beyond specific points that the nurses should also be advocated for. Um, by way of appreciation, we want to appreciate you say for the this support, the study participants, the United States government, MSC in Nigeria, and our new consultant, Dr. Adad Santi Sana. Thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, presentation and uh, thanks, thanks for also taking time. Now, before we go on to the next presenter, can we have an energizer? I know we are approaching that time. So, one minute energizer and then we we'll continue. Judith, can you please lead us? Oh, who is leading us? Okay. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. 